Pierre, thank you for joining me today. It's a real pleasure to speak with you. Congratulations on freelance. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be with you. Now you you've done you know such serious action films that I that I really enjoyed taking Peppermint, The Gunman, to, uh, to name a few. Uh, what was it like to work on one that's a little bit more lighthearted? Well, actually, that's why I picked it because yeah, all my previous movies are like dark and heavy and, and dramatic, and and I said, well, I you know what, I'd love one day to do like my kids can watch because all the others I had, I had younger kids and they could not watch those movies because they were, they were way too violent and way too dark. So I want to make a movie that my kids can watch. So and and that, I got that script, which I think was well, it's a comedy, but it it has that underlying like message, and it's it's, it's kind of a serious story. But the way we made it was like to make it like a way way less realistic and and only like a fun action comedy ride, and not not the dark moment. So I that's why I picked it because I could make it fun because. After making only dark, like action thrillers, you want to have a bit of you know, fun. So, so yeah, I'm assuming you had a really good time on set and shooting this, especially with the cast that you had. Well, those those three, they're quite something. They all like you know they're entertainers. They're they're, and the chemistry was fantastic. They all know their thing. I was actually very not surprised because I I I knew all they could do. But John, we know because he's that the monster beast of a man. He has a physique, but he's also absolutely hilarious he has exactly the right timings he knows where it lands it is so much fun allison is just you know well she's she's a blue ball it's fun <laughs> and juan pablo who i played with uh, i worked with on on uh, on peppermint who was playing that very dark mean villain actually we got along really well on that previous movie and and i could see the old the, the comedic potential so the three of them really really brought something to the table and they it was, it was hilarious all day long because between yeah, really, tests, it would start you know, like riffing and improvising it was it was really fun yeah it was nice to see kind of like that b-roll at the end of the film and, and see a little bit behind the scenes of how much fun you guys were having but well, it, it says a lot to uh being able to have uh, actors that can you know turn it on in a serious moments and also kind of really turn it down they have really good range in other words yeah, they could, they can do. They're, they're so versatile, and I think it's fun for them. I mean, if you again, if you're if you're stuck with one type of role, you're at some point it's not fun anymore. So, I think for all three of them, it was it was a uh, different experience. And and for you, I noticed in some of those action sequences, they got pretty intense. And I was wondering, did did you have to kind of pull back a little bit, or did you were you just like, no, we're doing the action sequences. We're gonna we're gonna go in all the way. No, I think I think I, I I didn't treat them the way I would have treated them if it was a a, a pure action movie. I mean, you had to make mm -hmm. it a little, to have a different perspective, and make it even a little too much or the less, mm -hmm. and different tricks. So it's not about the action; it's about the global story and how fun you can make out of the action. So mm -hmm. I would have, probably would not have shot those action scenes the same way if it was an action movie per se. Yeah, it probably would have ended a little bit corier, I would think. <laughs> Agreed. It would be more blood, more violent, more things broken, more you know, it would it would not be fun. <laughs> <laughs> where was that? Where was the shot and and uh, any any challenges on set in, in shooting it? We shot in Colombia. Uh we shot half in Bogota and half in the jungle, like a few hours from Bogota. Um great crews, great people, fantastic you know, culture and food. Um only challenge, not for me because I'm lucky, but for most of the crew was the mosquitoes <laughs> in the jungle. That was the that was the only big challenge. I mean, it, yeah, it's South America, it's jungle, so you can have in the same day like crazy sunshine, and then two hours later it's pouring rain. But I like that. <laughs> it's a place, it's a beautiful country, and with, with an am amazing variety of, of location. Yeah, I have many friends that tell me the same thing about Colombia that it's a it's a must visit. Um, just a, such a beautiful place, um, you know. With 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 so much experience in in action films, for you, what what are the must? What's the checklist for a great action film? The great the the, the checklist to me is not to be all about the action. If it's just action for action's sake, it, yes, there's a guilty pleasure to you know, destruction, violence, you name it. But to me. It's it's find a script which is not about the action. It's about 
either the fun, the comedic aspect, or the emotional connection and journey that you have. And then there's action within that. But that's to me is the checklist. Is is if it's just action for action's sake, I miss something. Mm, okay. And then one one final question. It's interesting. I I've felt like you know in the last couple of years, John Cena's really raised in as far as actor. I feel like he's been over, underrated. Would you would you agree? And and did he surprise you in any way? Oh yeah, is extre- is brilliant. Is natural. Is a natural. Honestly, is very professional. And as maybe maybe he got that from from his wrestling career, but he has a sense of timing and where a thing needs to land and where how how, how a thing needs to build up to get to a point. He's an entertainer. He's a born entertainer. It's fantastic. Pierre, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on freelance. And uh, whether it's uh, another comedic, uh, funnier one or a serious one, we look forward to your next film. The next one is a bit more serious.